What's up, YouTube? Your boy is back. I know it's been a minute, but today I got something different for y'all. Oh, I dropped my earphones. Got a story time for y'all and this story time is pretty it's pretty interesting and this is my first time doing a story time hey y'all i'm gonna tell y'all about the time when me and my group of friends almost got caught smoking on camera when i tell y'all like the way this happened y'all it was so crazy man it was like i I did not expect none of that to go down. And I was scared because, you know, I'm a transfer student. It was my first year on the campus. I was like, y'all, they're about to kick me off. <laughs> I was scared to break this down for y'all. Oh, wait, before we go, my birthday is Wednesday, May 27th. Do not forget, turning 21, finna turn up, finna be legal, you know? <laughs> no. But um, let's get into this story time. All right, so to start it off, um, it was just when I, I had woke up. Oh no, how did it? I had woke up that morning, and like me, I'm not a morning person at all. Like I don't care. Like when I wake up in the morning, I have a bad attitude. I don't want to talk. I don't want to do nothing. Like I'm just not a morning person. So when I woke up, I was in such a good mood that day. I don't know what for. I don't know why. Damn, Bruh. it's out here, y'all. I know y'all see me sweating. I was just in a good mood. And then, um, as I was getting up, I got ready and stuff, and I was heading to class. I come out. You know, I had on I had on a hoodie that day because I thought it was going to be freezing. But turns out, like, it was actually a nice day. I'm like, dang, I woke up in a good mood. Homework caught up. It's a nice day. I'm like... I might as well vlog today. I had just started YouTube and I was trying to um trying to find different things to do and I was like I haven't done a vlog so let me let me go ahead and vlog for everybody. You know I went to my first class. My first class was uh what time was that? It was at like eleven o'clock. Eleven at morning. I had met up with my friends, Kiara and Susie. If you watch the um the um if you watch the college day vlog um you'll see everybody who was in that video is a part of this story so usually i wouldn't name drop well i never done it before but i wouldn't name drop but there was already part of the college vlog video i have met up with my friends kiara and Susie, and um they had informed me that um because i had this is when i had just met them we weren't we weren't friends though. i say we were friends for about a uh, couple weeks yeah, we were friends for about a couple weeks. Me and Kiara had met in psychology. And so, um, they had informed me that it was our friend Derek's birthday. And it was Derek's birthday the next day. And I was like, okay, this what's up, y'all. You know what? I'm vlogging. I was like, I'm vlogging. We could turn this into, like, a birthday vlog for Derek. And they was like, oh, yeah. Because they, they know that I was just starting on YouTube. And I was trying to get views and things. So, so yeah, that was real but we i told y'all we had psychology so we had to go to class that day and we are that class started at three o'clock see i had a break from my first two classes was at 11 and 12 and then i had 12 to three o'clock just free the class started so me and kiara we went to the psychology class and we got out and um, we met Susie in our um, dorm building because me and Kira, we stayed in the same dorm building as well. Um, I was on the boys' side, I was on the girls, as y'all should know that already. But um, yeah, so we had met Susie at, um, she had came over to our dorm. And then we had went to go pick up our two other friends, um, Quan and Monte, because they were in on it too. You know, we was like, we was like a little, well, I. Well, yeah, they included me. We was like a little game. Even though I was new to it, they, they still fucked with me. They welcomed me with open arms. 
Yeah, pick them up, man, y'all. When I tell y'all we was gone, I say from about 3 to damn near 8 o'clock, like we was out. First, we stopped at Family Dollar. We got we got a gift bag. We got a candy. We got decoration. Well, we got some decoration. Kiara, at the time, she was the oldest one. I'm 20. Quan and everybody else that was that was around the same age as me. So Kiara, she was the only one available to buy the alcohol. So she went to the liquor store. She got the alcohol. Then we had to go to Walmart, and we had got. Oh, we had got cupcakes. Like, we had got all of that from Walmart. Then we went to Pizza Hood. And we had to get, you know, we got pizza. Because, you know, you couldn't couldn't have a little surprise party without nothing to eat. Because, you know, shoot, everybody want to eat. And we all college students. As soon as you say free food, tell me, that's how you get a college student. To come to your event, say you got something free. It don't matter if it's shirts, food, anything. If it's free, we in there. <laughs> So yeah, so you know we had got we had got some pizza from Pizza Hut, and we had to go to we had to go to like two different two or three different convenience stores because they didn't have a specific type of cigars we had. Anyways, to get back on track, yeah, we had to go to like two different convenience stores to um get the cigars, and then Kiara she had she was what she I don't even know what it was we had oh okay I know what it was. We had a we had a basketball game coming up, and if y'all don't know, I attend Fayetteville State University, and um, we had a basketball game coming up, and it was a really big basketball game because it was we were playing WSSU for those of you who don't know what school that is. That's Winston Salem State University, and like my school, Fayetteville and Winston, they are we're like rivals. We are rivals. We're not like we are rivals. So whenever we have games and we're playing at school, that's the event that everybody's gonna come to because they know it's a rival. So we had that game coming up and our school, um, you know, we were trying to work on our school spirit, you know, trying to bring some chance to the school so that like when we're at the games, you know, we're not boring and we're just sitting there just, <laughs> you know, just sitting there not doing nothing. So, um. She had went, she had got with a group of people and they wanted to go around to the dorms and, you know, play music, get everybody out, tell everybody about the chance, get everybody lit for the game. And so she invited me to go to the event. And my job said that we was out from three to eight. So by the time we got there, it was around like 8.30ish, I don't know. But I know it was close to the time um, that event Kier had invited me to started. We, the event started at like 10. We had to rush in the room. We had to carry everything in at the worst parking spot. We had to carry food in. We had to carry this in. We had to sneak the damn alcohol in. Like, it was crazy. Me and Kiara, we was, we was trying to hurry up. We was like, cause we got this event to go to. So we had to hurry up and set up. Um, the way we set it up, it was nice. We put, we was in the dorm, so you know we couldn't, we couldn't make it all, we couldn't make it real fancy, but we, we made it work. We made shit work. No love. Um, I think I got a video of it. If I do got a video, I'm gonna go ahead and insert that for y'all. Hey, y'all, okay. it's lit. Susie. Because you're not the first person that told me that. Okay, so she changed. Now we're Lex. Nine o'clock, and I was really about to walk out the door. So what? Now I'm just doing. Y'all, excuse the um, crate in the back. I gotta take that out. That's actually why I'm out here. To get back on topic, yeah. Damn, what was that? Oh, okay, so at that time we had finished setting up. So, me and Kiara, it was time for us to go to the event so that we could spread the school spirit, you know, spread it to everybody. <laughs> spread it to everybody. Well, no, we only with the one going there. That event lasted like a good hour or two, so from like ten to about I say it was it was like eleven fifty. I remember because Kara was like, "Oh, Tavy, during the event we gotta go. We only got ten minutes. They're gonna go get Derek now." So me and her, we had to run all the way across campus. I think we was coming from Hood. If you got a family, you know Hood Hall and Rennie. It's not that far, but that's that's some good distance to 
get across campus in just 10 minutes. So, you know, me and her, we got, you know, we walking fast. We can't run because we smoke. You know, we waiting on people to come. So, you know, first a little bit of people came. I'm like, okay, okay. You know, we got, we got a good amount of people in here, y'all. When I tell you the next thing I know, I say about 10, 15 minutes went by. That dorm was so packed, y'all. And Rennie's room is like it's pretty, it's pretty spacious if you don't have a lot in there. But you know they're girls, so you know girls when they when y'all decorate y'all dorm, you know y'all go uh, over the top. Y'all have all this you know, Lex bed, uh, which was Kia's roommate like at the time. She had um she had a bed right. She had this bed. <laughs> I think she had a bed like y'all didn't know that. But her bed. It was full of people, which is where I was sitting. And um, Kiara's bed, it was full of people. And then um, in that room, so like the two beds are right here. And it's like you have a little walkway between there. So it's like between the beds and then like you can come right through here. All of this that I just showed y'all was full of people standing up. It was people by the door when you come in. Like it was so much, y'all. It looked like a kickback. At that moment, I shouldn't have knew that was a red light because I'm like, hold on, y'all. This room is so packed. I'm telling you, like, you couldn't even, you couldn't even step. You just had to get through so many people just to get to the door, the bathroom, or anything. What you was doing, it was, it was so packed. I was not expecting all these people to be here. But you know, um, if y'all watch my um, my college advice video, I told y'all how first semester I was real anti-social when I first got to college. So. That second semester came around, you know, I was like, I'm trying to get out, I'm trying to meet new people. So, I really wasn't really thinking about it. I'm like, wow, there's a lot of people here. I'm about to get around, get to know some people, meet some new friends, have some new people to roll up with, you know. <laughs> and so, I, I was like, okay, this going to be cool. We got food, pizza, weed, you know, just, just lit. Had a good day. Just chill. <clears throat> you know, we didn't spark up anything. We waited until Derek came. So, and the thing is, y'all, the pizza. Mind y'all, I told y'all we got the pizzas an hour later. We didn't have nowhere to put it, y'all. So it was so many people in there. Um, I don't, I don't even remember. I, I remember somebody saying we all gonna have to share the microwave. But if I remember, I don't think I don't think they let nobody even use the microwave, y'all. So we we was in that motherfucking cold pizza. But at, but when you fuck shit, we was hot. It's food. I mean, it's free food at that. So. Ain't nobody care. We, we were smashing that damn cold pizza. <laughs> yeah, so we was waiting on Derricka to come. And um, so eventually we hear the knock on the door. It was Susie. She had Derricka with her. I don't even know if I saved that video that night, but I had a video of um of Derricka coming in. She got to the party and literally, y'all, when I tell y'all, that's when the party, and the day was going like this. You know, I guess when everybody came, you know, the day was going like this at first. It was just smooth. And then I guess when everybody started coming, you know, that's the climax. You know, it was, I mean, not the climax, but, you know, it was the, the, the rise in action. Yeah, it was the rise in action. And then, this is where the came. Literally, when Derek came to the park. Y'all, uh, Derek could come in. You know, everybody's lit like, hey, happy birthday, it's 12, you know, it's her birthday, she's 19, and everything. So, that's when everybody starts sparking up. I don't think you hear his lighters. You hear, that's all you hear is lighters everywhere. And like, y'all, when I tell y'all, it was so many blunts in that room. I say it was around, it had to be over 20, 25 people in that room. Like, it was so packed in there, y'all. And like, yeah, you know every dorm come with a with a smoke alarm. They had this bowl that they would put over the alarm, but like they would put tape all around it. So like when you smoke them, it will. Oh, I don't even think I should have said that. They had a way to cover. They had a way to cover the smoke alarm to where like when you're smoking, you won't um set the alarm off. It's, um, if I'm not mistaken, I think somebody. I think it was a side that wasn't covered all the way. And we seen that, I think we seen that afterwards or something. I don't know, but if I'm not mistaken, I think it was a side that wasn't covered all the way. And I told you like, it was more than like 20 or 25 people in there. And almost majority of the people in there had their own weed to smoke. So I can say it was probably about 
10 or less than 10 people in there who didn't smoke. And we had alcohol, you know, that's when... No, we didn't even get to pop the alcohol over, y'all. So, like, we all in there smoking everything. So, you know, a good 20... Not even... Was it like... Yo, it was about 20 minutes ago by everybody chilling. Next thing you know... The alarm go off. And everybody was just sitting there for a while, like... It was like a split second, everybody, because even I was, I was like, I know this is not that alarm. I thought, I know this is not, no, I didn't even think it was her room alarm. I thought it was the alarm because, you know, they'll do drills and they'll set the alarms off and everybody have to go outside, things like that. So that's what I thought it was. Somebody heard up, heard up and opened the door and ran out and then at that moment, I realized, I'm like, hold on, y'all. I don't hear no alarms outside. This is coming from in this damn room. And I'm like, oh, shit, y'all, the alarm is really going off. So me, I hop up, and then I head straight for the door. But if you know me, you know I'm a greedy-ass person. So before I left, I had to take something to eat. <laughs> I was already high, had the munchies. I'm like, okay. So I had my plate of chips. And, like, I had to go back for it. I was like, oh, I turned around for a split second. I grabbed my chips, and I'm like, time to go. We were cool with the uh, people at the front desk, you know. Well, I wasn't cool at all, and, you know, I told y'all, um, at that time, I had was I was just meeting Kiera and Susie and all of them. So, I, was, I knew, like, one of the dudes up there. And so, like, they just looking at Move, everybody bitch. just scattered from that room. And they're like, the door was open, so they could hear the alarm going off, and like everybody just scattered. And, I, and then, by the time I get up there, the dude I told y'all I knew, um, he was at the door to where, because I told y'all, me and Kier stayed in the same building, and I stayed in the boys' side, and the girls' side was literally just a walk across from each other. And so he was standing in front of the boys' door to where you go to the boy side and like there's no other way to get there's no other way to get to that side so i'm like oh man like i can't just go over there and swipe my car because he sees that i'm coming from that room he know that i hang with him he's seen us coming in with all the snacks we told him we was having a party and so boy why did he put you in here oh, this my dog y'all and so um yeah he's seen us bringing the, the decorations and stuff in he's seen us bringing all that in so I'm like, this dude, he knows my name. I'm like, I, t I can't just go over there because he's going to be like, hey, what's going on? And I'm like, I'm not going to tell him nothing. So I was like, dang it, I don't know what to do. So me, I follow up Quan and Monte out the door because they weren't standing in our um, They weren't standing in our building. They stayed all the way across campus. So I head out with them out the door. And then I see them, they going to their dorm. I was like, I'm not going with them because they stay all the way across campus. It, mind y'all, it got cold. It had gotten cold that night. So I was like, uh-uh. So I didn't know what I was about to do, y'all. I was the whole time I'm sitting there like this. I was on the bench. I had found a bench. And then I had sat down. And I was just like, oh, my gosh. I was like, I don't know what I'm about to do. I thought I was about to get kicked off campus. It was my first semester there. I'm like, my mama, she, she proud because I'm the first generation college student. So she proud of me and I'm about to get kicked off. Like so much was going through my head. Y'all was like, I just fucked this opportunity up. I had texted my roommate. If I still got them text messages out, I would put them in here. I had told him, I was like, look, we don't got caught smoking in Kiera room or Lauren went up. Me, I was, he was, um, he was in UPA at the time, and you go to Fairville, you know, UPA and Rini, boy, that's a walk, boy, you gotta go, you gotta go through the parking lot, you gotta go up a long ass hill, then you gotta cross a busy ass road, so me, I'm finna walk over there to my roommate, cause I was scared, I was like, damn, I don't know what I'm about to do, and I told y'all I'm lazy, so, halfway there, I, was like, I decided to turn around, and so, I was just like, fuck it, if I get caught, I'ma just get, I was like, I'ma just go in here, try to swipe in, and if I get caught, I just get caught. So, that's what I did, y'all. I turned around, and I was like, I'm not walking there. So, I went back to the room, walked in, they didn't say nothing. They just looked at me, so I was like, I'm gonna keep going then, swiped in. 
And I went to my room and I went to sleep. And there, that's where I fucked up. Because I felt bad because, you know, Kier and that, that was my friend. I just met them. And that had went down. And, and I tell you, everybody ran. And that's them that they just clean up the mess. And I feel bad for that because I should have stayed. And at least try to help them clean up the situation before because it took a while for the police or anything to get there and I didn't know that because I panicked and I ran which I wish I would have did this I wish I would have stayed I wish I would have stayed and helped them out because you know they could have got put out for them but this is where the Lord comes in uh... so that next morning I get up and I was like, oh shit, you know, because I was so scared last night. I, I went to sleep, which I don't even know why I went to sleep. Like, they couldn't get in the dorm with, with their own car. So, I text Kiera, and um, I forgot what she said. I think I still got those text messages. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to put it in there. But, you know, like, she was mad because she was like, oh, you didn't try to check up on me. Da, 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 you just left us. And I was like, damn, you know, she right. I ran out of fear because that's I, I see everybody run, you know, like, and I feel bad. Da, da, da. And, you know, I was like, is, there, is everything okay? And I told her I was coming over. So I went over there. You know, she she told me that everything was good, you know, and not getting put out because that's what I was scared of. I didn't have no friends the first semester. So I'm like, dang, I just made these new friends. That course was cool as hell. And um, they about to get they about to get put out because of this situation and luckily i told y'all we was cool with the people at the front desk so luckily um one of the guys came in there and they had some spray so you know they kiara said that they came in there and they were spraying and they was doing all of that so that they could get rid of the smoke i mean the smell of marijuana and so you know, that was doing all it. I think it was blunt. Yeah, they had blunt powder. So, you know, they sprayed that all in the room. But um, by the time the police got there, the room was still smoky. Man, the room was still smoky. So, but I told you they had the blunt powder. So, you know, the room, it didn't reek of weed or anything. And that they have, they have, um, I forgot who, I forgot what they did with the damn liquor. But, um, yeah, they had got rid of the, um, the smell of weed and everything. So, by the time the police got there, um, um, they seen it was smoky. And, um, they told him that, um, it was our friend's birthday. And we were throwing a party. And we had lit up some candles. Which, they actually did have candles in their room. Thank God. They weren't lit up or anything, but they had them there. Well, yeah, they weren't lit at the time, but they had them there, so which made the law believable so you know they was like oh we had candles lit and then all of a sudden the alarms went off because something i forgot what was here so i was like thank god that y'all that y'all got through that y'all didn't get caught or anything it was nobody in trouble but um yeah and so if you watch the vlog you can see um that like the vlog was two separate days. It was the day of the it was the day before Derrica's birthday, and then the second part where you can see where we're all dancing in the room. Um, that was the actual day of Derrica's birthday. That was that morning when I had went back over there to check on him and see if everything was okay. And like y'all, <laughs> y'all. <laughs> that experience right there, that, that junk scared the mess out of me because I really thought that I was about to be kicked off camp. So, y'all, this goes to show, if you are a college student or you are tend to be a college student, you are a fresh high school graduate, do not, I repeat, do not smoke in your dorm. Because nine times out of 10, that shit is not going to go right. Hallelujah. I promise you. Don't do it. Take my advice. Yeah, this is advice. Like, this is me, like, being a big brother to y'all. Do not. It don't matter what your friends say. If they be like, oh, I did this before. The alarm ain't go off. da 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 this, da 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 Do not light that blunt up in your dorm. Now, we go to Fairview State. Now, we, our, our campus isn't that big. So, you know, so, you know, the prices may be different at other schools. But a $200 fee and you are a college student. That's a lot of money to pay. So, you know, I advise you guys to not 
smoke in the dorm room. And I learned my lesson from that. And if you're doing it now, I advise you to just cut it off because unless you want to end up like me sitting outside about 2, 12 o'clock in the morning, cold as hell, wondering what's going to happen to you is you going to be able to stay in your dorm the next day. I advise you not to light that blunt up in your I advise you not to light that blunt up in your dorm room or in anybody else's dorm room because nine times out of ten is not going to go right. But um I have to get this being out. But yeah, if you enjoyed this story time, please comment down below. It's hot y'all, so I'm finna get out this card. But you know, y'all be safe. I hope y'all enjoyed this story time. And if you haven't, please like subscribe and comment to this <laughs> like subscribe and comment down below and i promise you i will get back with you guys later and be safe